Alright everyone, welcome back to episode 2. We are starting episode 2 of the episodic game made by Telltale Games. As you can see by your right by that right hand corner. We're starting episode 2 of Back to the Future, the video game. Okay. So we're starting episode 2. It's been a while since I did episode 1, um, but we're finally back and we're going to continue the series. Um, this episode is called Get Tannen. So, um, without further ado, let's just get started here. Right, new game. Would you like to see the notification when Marty has a new goal? Yes. Okay. Let's just uh, let's get started here. It's just saving. Telltale tell Games. Presents Association and Universal Paramount Pictures. I think that's what he said. And there we go, back to the future, which is fucking blurry. The game. Well, that was blurry. Couldn't even see it. Fucking hell, we're gonna. Welcome to the blurry playthrough. Episode 2 Get Tannen. <laughs> and that means Kid Tannen. Oh, yes, the good DeLorean behind that stupid sign where no one looks behind it. Lead programmer Randy Tudor. Directed by Peter Settler. Story consultant Bob Gale. <laughs> These crazy weird names. Oh god. Marty's turning into a ghost. Tomorrow's newspaper. you still have it? Yeah. Marty's turning into a ghost. Left for dead. Local account Marshall McFly was severely beaten and left for dead on the steps of the Hill Valley Courthouse last night. They're gonna kill my grandpa? Tannen's wounds, no doubt. Probably in retaliation for Arthur answering that subpoena you delivered. What are we gonna do? I'm not sure what we can do. According to this, your grandfather was dumped on the doorsteps of the courthouse five minutes ago. My dad's picture is disappearing. That's the time stream catching up with your grandfather's fatal wounds. Which means your father will never be born. Oh, and well. never will you. Unless... When did you last see your grandfather? Four o'clock in the town square. Let's give him enough time to make his deposition. Right. We'll have to be careful not to run into ourselves. That shouldn't be a problem in your case. I mean, you were in jail. All right, let's get moving before the police find us. Freeze! Oh, wow. Step out of the car with your hands up. I just realised that I didn't have the subtitles on. Subtitles are on. Okay. I heard something back there. I think you're mistaken, officer. Ah, oh, shit. Well, looks like I caught me a fugitive. Carl Sagan, the speakeasy arsonist. A legend speakeasy arsonist, if you don't mind. Uh. What the heck kind of buggy is that? Stay back. It's a prototype, still untested. Liable to blow up at any moment. Or suddenly take off without warning. <laughs> That's so. There it is again. I think the night air is playing tricks on you, officer. Oh, God. Uh, is it some kind of foreign job? A German or something? Not at all. This is solid American workmanship. Now I'm sure something's back there. Looks 
like something out of Buck Rogers. A year from now, everybody will be driving these babies. It's going in circles. <laughs> going in circles is ridiculous. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a promotion in this. You're getting to be a valuable commodity in Hill Valley. Now I've got to go around the, uh, the DeLorean again. If you don't mind cooling off a few minutes till reinforcements get here. I don't mind, but the car may have other ideas. What was that? What was what? Crap! I heard something back there. He's going in circles I again. I you're a mistake, officer. <laughs> just funny him a bit. I'd like to get a closer look at that getaway car. What's that? Off in those bushes. Huh? I didn't hear anything. I thought it was my henchman returning, but you're probably right. It was nothing. Henchman, you say? Hmm. I'll go wait again. for this cop to fucking move. On you, yeah, it probably is playing tricks on you. Camera's being shaky that? as fuck. I didn't hear anything. Hmm. Driver's seat. Yay! Let's get the fuck out of here. Stop! Stop! Oh! I'll be fine until you get back. Okay, so we're going back to uh, 1931's Hill Valley. We're no longer Mike McFly, we're playing as Harry Callahan. 455, Artie's gotta be in there somewhere, spilling his guts to the DA. Oh, there he is. There he is! All I gotta do is get to him before. Mr. Callahan! Oh shit. I was wondering if I could do a little follow-up interview with you about the plight of poor Mr. Sagan. My sources indicate that Judge Brown will be setting him free tomorrow. I wouldn't bet on that. What's that? Nothing. Listen, can we talk later? I've really got to get to the courthouse right now. Really? Why? And I just dropped my phone. My grandpa needs me as a character witness to get a fishing license. Oh, well then. <laughs> Carry on. And do put that vicious dog of yours on a leash, will you? We have laws about that sort of thing, you know. Sure, no problem. Ah! Oh, come on, yesterday, Marty. Stop talking. Get moving. Einstein? Oh, God. Einstein's looking for me. Einstein? What is it, boy? Oh, shit. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, that didn't do nothing. Crap. Einstein. Ah, oh, shit. Is it a squirrel lining? Stick. You want to play? Okay, let's play. What are you up to, Heine? Edna. Get her, Heine. You! Oh, God. Oh, get this mangy animal away from me! <laughs> Go, Now to get into that courthouse and grab Artie before Tanner's guys. Ah, ah. What does Emmett? Emmett? Hey. Young Emmett. Oh, God. Um, hey. According to my calculations, the rotary engine for a full scale rocket drill requires 1.21 kilowatts of power. 
Can you check over my work to make sure? Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah. But I need to get to Arthur. Why? He might be headed for an accident. Arthur McFly may not be the most coordinated fellow around, but I'm sure he can walk up a flight of stairs. Come on. That is true. We're getting on with our work. We're on a strict deadline, right? Start without sure. me. Sure. You start without me. Turn around and start walking, and I'll I'll catch up to you in just a few minutes. Huh? Oh my God! What the hell is that? What's what? <laughs> Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you. No, I, I knew before while I was walking towards you. I wasn't talking to anyone. I was working on equations for my rocket drill. No, I mean after. Uh, never mind. Let's get going. Follow me. I thought I'd never leave. At least now I have a clear shot to the courthouse. True. Off to the courthouse doors. And Arthur just walks out. Time to yeah, go to the uh... Look, you're in a lot of danger. What do you mean I'm in danger? No time to explain, Grand Marty. Just promise me you'll stay at the police station until Marty McFly. Just oh shit. The guy we're looking for. It's uh Talon's henchman. Hey, fellas. Run! Get him! Oh the soup kitchen guy knocked me out for nothing. Artie? Uh, I better pick up their trail before I start fading out again. Right, I need to get to the soup kitchen. There we go, I can run. Let's go to the soup kitchen. Let's make sure I don't get run over. Looks clear. All right, McFly. Let's go see the boss. Okay. In the alley now. Oh shit, there's kids. Buddy, how's my favorite accountant doing? Oh, I've been better. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, McFly. Trixie, take a powder, doll. We got business to discuss. Hey, oh, can you boys feel nice now? Mwah. Nice to see you again, Audie. You too, Miss Trotter. Yeah, yeah, we're all happy as clams. Now scram. Trixie Trotter. <sighs> Some. Average heaven tits. Oh, there goes the uh, chloroform. Are you guys stupid? What are you thinking? Bringing this fish food to my doorstep. We just thought that was your first mistake. Thinking. Look at me. Do you ever catch me thinking? Huh? Not really. Uh... Don't answer that. Look, just drag him inside, find out what he told the DA, then get rid of him. I think we can handle that. Good. Now, if you don't mind, Got an arsonist to snuff out. And will one of you slobs start hauling these crates in? We're on it, kid. Hmm. Got to find a way inside. It's like I'm gonna be uh, going to one of these crates. Well, just turn into a ghost as well. And Arthur McFly's head is missing. Medium crate. If it fits, it Contents. sits. One wing got us. Whoops. Oops. <laughs> one wind goddess. Who wants a one wind goddess? Don't. Nice fit. If it fits, it nothing. sits. The crates cue ball. Stir the soup cue ball. Clean out the blood stains cue ball. Shit. I'm not a gangster, I'm a freaking butler. Now, which one of you guys goes in first? Jeez, for a gal with no arms, you sure is heavy. Whoops. Ow. The amount.
mind? I'm trying to conduct a professional interrogation over here. Where should I put this? Just shove it behind the bar. I'll just shove you behind the bar. Oh. Come on, Artie. Jeez, how much chloroform did you put on that rag anyway? What? Because I'm having a hard time bringing Sleeping Beauty here around. Uh, Let me yeah. see. Okay, we're in the uh, in the bar now. Hey, Artie, we got a few questions about you and the DA. Oh, stuck in him. <laughs> He's high of his mind. Shouldn't have put him to sleep. To be catching. Zay, wake up. Oh, sorry, boss. The stupid cold's got me wiped out. <laughs> well, try to stay awake long enough to finish that poster, will you? We got a club to open in a few days. And turn off that sign, would you? L kid. Okay. Come sleepy heads. Numbers, what's this? Seven, twenty-three, thirty. Hmm. A combination to a lock. Uh. Chloroform. Where is it? No wonder Artie's so out of it. Interact with Say, how's Trixie's poster coming? Uh, See for yourself. Ooh, swanky. But her beauty marks on the other cheek. Oh, I see what I can do. Get it, put the chloroform in the ink bottle. Oh, hey guys. I don't feel so. Say, wake up, you lazy bum. <laughs> in the cold. Cold my eye. He's been dipping into the inventory. The inventory. Inventory. One more on down. Two to go. I figure we put Kid's Wall of Fame gallery up over the bar. That ought to give the place a touch of class. Because, you know, nothing says class like pictures of dead guys. Okay. Uh. Ow. Aye, aye. What the? I think we blew a fuse. Well, go up to the soup kitchen and get a new one. Why me? You'd rather hang around and talk to this guy, huh? It is our here again. Yeah, I'll just get that fuse. <laughs> Do everything you say, Q-Ball. Come on, Artie, wake up. You're sleeping your life away. Literally. The who is this? Oh God! Oh, put in the right with my. Oh, there's a ball. Trying my patience, Artie. Wake up, sleepyhead. The only thing I want to break this bottle on is one of those goons' heads. Which is what I want to do. Dermot's Canadian whiskey. Where's the uh Hey! Get me out of here! Keep your shirt on! I'm not sure I can promise that, madam. What? up 
sleepyhead. Hey! Hey! What was that? There must be some wiring problems with the emergency button. <laughs> what what happened? You got knocked out. He doesn't even look behind the camera. Wow. I hope the sisters of mercy approve of our redecorating. <laughs> Hundred and twenty proof. Whoa. Um what am I supposed to do? Supposed to be paper. Uh, look over counter. This is gonna be the swellest speakeasy in Hill Valley. It's. What do I spy with my little eye? Word games? Hmm. Over easy. And raisin <laughs> toasts. Well, he's high of his mind. McFly! Great. Uh, I think there's a way we could get Rip Van Winkle here talking in his sleep. Yeah, I sleep talked once. That's how I ended up married to Mildred. Remind me to sleep slap you later tonight. Can I interact with the sign switch? Yes, I can. Again? Must have been a faulty fuse. Well, go get one that ain't so faulty. You know, some people want to say please every now and then. Mm, let's see. Paint button. Then probably I can knock him out. Matches. Ball. Matches. Boom. Wham! Ryan the kisser. <laughs> His head's back to normal. Yay! Uh, hey, you. Wait, do I know you? Not for about 40 years. Is there anyone Whoa. down there? You're in spinning. Come on, Artie. Let's get out of here before these jerks get a chance to kill you. Wait a minute. They were gonna kill me? Yeah. <sighs> Great. This isn't funny, guys. <laughs> What the hell? Perfect timing. Hang on, Grandpa. We've got a pickup to make. Da 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 Son of a... And then I carried Artie to the DeLorean. He came back to get you. Awesome. So we can go home now, right? Not yet. We still have this loose end to tie up. No, don't tie me up again. He's coming around. Please be careful. You won't be safe in Hill Valley as long as Kit Tannen remains at large. You 
Don't worry, I'm going far away from Hill Valley, and I'm never coming back. No! He's got to hook up with Grandma. What's her name? Uh, it's Sylvia. You know a woman named Sylvia? No. Well, she knows you. We'll know you. It's vitally important that you two meet. Oh, I get it. You want me to be part of some undercover sting operation. No, possibly. Yeah. Are you G-Man? Uh -huh. Something like that. G-Man. Sure, anything for Uncle Sam. I'll stay nearby and wait for this Sylvia. But in the meantime, I'll lay low. Good man. When can I expect to see you? Again. That was a close call. You think it'll be okay? You're not fading out, are you? Besides, Arthur will be completely out of danger come August 25th. August 25th? That's the date Kit Tannen is finally put behind bars. How's that picture of your dad? Still there. Good. Let's get out of here before we accidentally elect Hoover to a second term. Let's go back to 1986. May 15th. Flames always has to be in the bloody on the road. We're finally back to 1986 and it's blurry and it's gone back to unblurriness. Don't know why it does that. Everything looks okay. Are you sure? Yeah, are you sure? See, McFly residence. So, wanna come in? Maybe hang out a while? I want my dad to see for himself that you're still around. I'd love to, Marty, but... You've gotta go, I understand, Doc. You've got a life to lead, and kids to raise and all that. No, I've gotta go to the bank and stop that estate sale you told me about. Oh. 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 You go find your pop. I'll be back within the hour. See you soon, Doc. All right. Well... We're back in 1986. Let's go home. Hey, anyone home? There's something wrong with my key. Please, not now. Tomorrow. Give me another day. What? Another day? Dad, what are you talking about? Marty. No, that's impossible. Marty was run out of town. What? I've got a bad feeling about this. This is heavy, Doc. I'm out of town. What are you talking about, Dad? Let me in. This is a trick. Go away. Leave us alone. Haven't we suffered enough? Mom. Mom, it's Marty, Mom. Open up. It sounds like Marty. It must be a trick. Mom! Go away. Shame on you. Duh. The hell? How can I convince you? Tell me something. Only Marty would know. Ah. The first time you kissed Mom was at the enchantment under the sea dance. That's right. Oh my lord, what are you waiting for, George? Let him in! Stupid box. Oh, oh wow. God, Dad. What, what happened to you? What do you think happened, butthead? Oh my god. <laughs> I thought we told you to stay out of town, shrimp. Yeah. Whatever's going on, I'm sure we can handle it. Reasonably. Who are they? <laughs> like you don't know Cliff and Riff. Cliff and Riff. I think we should and do it, Biff. Him, baby bro. We should have done years brothers. ago, big bro. I'm gonna enjoy this, McFly. Oh, wow. Wait, I'm trying to process here. What the hell did you do to my dad? Your dad's been in that wheelchair since before you were born, butthead. And you better hope he has a spare, cause you're gonna need one in like three seconds. <laughs> I got a question. Why are you guys so pissed at me? You don't remember? You've really lost it, McFly. Big back, the thing with the manure truck. Which one? 
Oh wow. Part of our thing. You're thin. Look oh, time to jump. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Here's what I still don't understand. How long have you been coming down to my dad like this? Ever since that school dance when Georgie laid Biff out in the parking lot. Uh, uh, shut up, it's not funny. Someone messes with the Tannen family, the Tannen family never lets him forget about it. Oh wow. Uh. So now the Tannins are some kind of minor league mafia? Hey, watch who you're calling minor league. The Tannin gang's the fifth most dangerous crime family in California. We got connections all over the place. You don't look dangerous. Oh, hey. You don't believe me? Family from mine, in gratitude for your continued service, JJ Valenti. It's Don Valenti, godfather of the Sacramento mob, the third most dangerous crime family in California. Oh wow, duck. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Oh my god. Kid? No one in Hill Valley messes with the Tannen family. Marty, ah! get in. This timeline's been compromised. No kidding. Fifty years. Ah, jeez, rob the arcade. Why well, rob the arcade? Wait, was there really arcades in 1931? No, there wasn't. He's just pissed. And we're okay, back in ninety forty one. When she does, history says Tan will be arrested by a rookie cop by the name of Danny Parker. Parker. Danny Parker. Par oh, hey. Officer Parker. Do you think he's related to Jennifer Parker, my girlfriend. Could be. Heavy. In any event, somehow we've changed history so that neither of these events happens, condemning your family to generations of abuse at the hands of the Tannen crime family. You need to go back into Tannen speakeasy, find out what's going wrong, and get Kid Tannen arrested. No problem, Doc. Let me just put on my hat and I'm good to go. Is the mustache really necessary? It's essential. You can't let kid know that you're the same troublemaker that foiled his attempt to kill me. Are you sure you can't come in with me? It's far too Oh, dangerous. wow. You may be easy to disguise with your nondescript features, but ever since my daring escape from the police and the mob, my distinctive face has been plastered over every paper from here to Reno. Nondescript. 
I'll find a safe place to hunker down. That flop house ought to fit the bill. You can find me there if you need me. <laughs> Very mustache, so gangster. Wow. Oh wow. Right, spit video here. We'll be back in a sec. <laughs> 